I'm personally not a fan of mayonnaise because ill, but the Duke's Mayo Bowl is very intriguing to me. NC State and Charlotte looking to get a bowl win over Maryland, and it looked like the state defense set the tone early. Here's Drake Thomas in his last game for the pack with the big time sack. And then Christopher Dunn, the best kicker in the nation, held the pack in it offensively. Four for four on field goals for the day. Final moments, pack needing to score, but Ben Finley will be picked. The pack lose this one to the Terps 16 to 12. WRL's Casey Hentz covered the game and she's down in Charlotte. She joins us live. Casey, the pack just couldn't muster up enough offense to outscore Maryland in the Mayo Bowl. Chris, well, stop me if you've heard this before. You can't trade touchdowns for field goals. Of course, that doesn't take anything away from Christopher Dunn, who was outstanding. He did his job today for sure. But Ben Finley struggled to get any offense going in, or any rhythm going in this offense. And they only had 27 yards rushing. That doesn't help get the ball into the end zone. So yet again, just like all season long, they had to rely on their defense and they stuck around. They hung in that game. Isaiah Moore, Drake Thomas combined for 22 tackles. Peyton Wilson, Drake Thomas, three sacks. So it's no surprise, though, that Isaiah Moore, when he was asked if he thought they did enough in this one, he said they didn't. No, nah, we didn't do enough because we didn't, we didn't win the game. You know, um, you know we win the team, we, we lose the team. You know, there are plays that we left out there in the field that we, that we wish we could have made. Um, and that's, that's how it goes. Uh, you know, but we're, we're very proud of who we are as a defense and what we've showed all year. And um, Coach Gibby and the rest of the staff and the rest of the guys coming back are going to do the same thing next year or even be better. Disappointed in the results, but not disappointed, you know, in the opportunity this team's created uh, over and over to just keep fighting to the end of the game and uh, didn't make the – the plays there at the end to get the W. Now one quick thing Dave Doran did say, that was the best linebacking group he has ever coached. They are so special. They've definitely left their mark here, but now he's looking ahead to the future as they move on to next season. Chris? Definitely going to miss them in Raleigh. Hopefully a few of them will be drafted in Charlotte. Casey Hans live in Charlotte. Thank you so much.